This morning's funeral possession was held for the late Dumas Police Chief Marvin Trejo, who died Sunday in an area hospital. We've got new details today about the chief's passing. Chief Trejo's wife confirmed to us that he tested positive for COVID-19 and died from that disease. Chief Marvin Trejo was 58 years old. Fox 14's Kaylee Green now joining us live in studio with the latest. Kaylee. Andy, Chief Marvin Trejo had served the Dumas Police Department for more than 20 years since 1994 and was appointed Chief of Police last year. The priest who officiated his funeral today says he gave his life serving his community. The procession, procession rather began this morning at Morrison's Funeral Home in Dumas and ended at the Memorial Garden Cemetery south of Amarillo. Those participating in the procession and graveside service were asked to remain in their vehicles. Father Gabriel Garcia, the priest at Saints Peter and Paul Parish, says Chief Trejo was a person who valued the truth and would want the public to take this virus seriously. He says Chief Trejo spent days on a ventilator and in ICU before he passed away. I, I am very, very positive about that, that he wants the whole community to be aware of what he went through because it was a very tough battle for him and for his family during this weeks. And I am absolutely sure he wants the community to be aware of that. Burrell says when the procession started, it was more like a parade, the public celebrating the life of a frontline worker and public servant. Here's Sergeant Clayton Williams with the Dumas Police Department, remembering Chief Trejo. Uh, he cared for the community greatly. I mean, he was always looking for avenues into outreach and I guess for life of better term possibly philanthropy but he's gonna be greatly missed and his his contribution and his place within the police department is going to be hard to to fill sergeant Williams tells us chief Trejo was beloved on the police force and had a saying work for the cause not for the applause live in studio Kaylee Green Fox 14 News Andy Kaylee thank you for bringing that story to us you can hear the full interview with sergeant Williams over on our website myhighplains.com.